You ain't that bitch that be stacking them checks. You ain't that bitch that be coming for next. You be that chick that be trying too hard. You be that chick that ain't it, so she flex. And for what's I'm not talking about cash, I'm talking your morals and values and class. Ew. <laughs> what's happening, y'all? It's your girl Marie. Welcome back to my channel. So, if you new, girl, boy, go ahead and come on the copper squad, because things about to get hectic, okay? If you're not, get your ass in here and sit down. So, the video I'm going to be giving y'all today is a flawless skincare routine, because I know some of my boys or some of my girls be having some acne scars, little blemishes, dark spots. You see that over there? That's dark spots. You don't want that. So, without further ado, let's hop right into this video, okay? Okay, come on. This way. This way. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. Hi. Important phone call there. Yeah. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Hello. Turn around. Okay, y'all, so the first product I'm gonna be using is my Equate Skin Cream, which you can compare to Noxzema. This basically is Noxzema, but you know how shit be in different brands or whatever. So, anyways, I'm basically gonna be using this first because when you first put this on your face, it gives you like a mint, cold, fresh feeling. And that fresh feeling is because it's cleaning out your pores, it's like revitalizing your face, making it nice and smooth it's clearing out your pores getting away all the dirt from overnight when you were sleep you know how your face constantly rub a pillow and stuff like that it's removing basically all of that dead skin dry skin and if i look up a lot you guys that mean i'm basically looking at this mirror right here so you basically want to just put a thin layer on your face you don't have to put a lot because when you put a lot it's not going to dry like it's supposed to it's going to look cakey and you don't want none of that so you just do this, you get your nose bridge, you get really up under your eye, it works best under your eye. Like for me, I have dark circles under my eyes, so I love putting this stuff over, over that. Because when I first take it off, it makes the dark circles look so light, it makes my face look like I'm not dead at 3 a.m. Like man, you know what I'm saying, it just make your face look super popping. So you just go in with this, you don't use a lot. And when you massage it in, you massage it in circles. I got a little bit on my ear, but you massage it in circles because it's like you giving your face, like you giving yourself a facial basically with this. Like I love using this. I've been using this since, I think since I was 13. I'm 20 now. So I've been using this basically for seven years and this has been working just so well. Like, oh, I love using this. Like so much. And you just do small little circles when you're massaging it in. Mm -hmm. You wanna keep going with that until you really can't massage it in no more. Because the more you massage it in, the clearer your face is gonna get. So you just do like that. You get your side right here. I'll be seeing pictures um, in the Explore page on Instagram where Girls might post pictures of like, oh, they got like a mask on, like a skin mask on or a facial mask on, and they don't have it covered right here. In reality, when you have on a facial mask or whatever type of mask you use, you cover every area of your face. Like, it's for your face. Like, you cover every single area of your face until you can't no more your nose. And for me, I have dry skin mostly right here and right here, so I have to make sure I rub like a mug this type of stuff is not what's up oh i just ran y'all heard me <laughs> yeah this is basically what you do for about a good few little minutes yep this is all you gotta do rub down rub the sides of your nose rub the middle of your rub your third eye rub the middle of your head and I promise y'all, when I when you take this off, this is gonna be popping. I used to use um clean and keep clean and clear. I think that's it. It was like the morning blast 
with the little rejuvenating beads, the little orange stuff. I use that. I love that so much, but I just stick with this because I don't like using too many facial cleansers on my face because some facial cleansers will give you bumps just so you can keep buying them again and keep using it. I don't like using too many of them. But this is basically all you do. And then naturally, it'll just dry. You just massage that in extremely well. You get wiped on your chin. You get the side of your head. You get your forehead. You get the side. And you just rub it in small circles. Just like that. And that's basically it. And now you just you just let it dry, basically. And then you basically just let it dry all over your face. <sighs> okay, y'all. Now that my face has completely dried, I'm about to wash this off in some cold water. Note: Whenever you use Noxzema or anything similar to Noxzema, you wash it off in cold water. You never use hot water because basically, if you use hot water, you wasted your time putting it on, massaging it. You know what I'm saying? So you wash it off in cold water because when you use cold water, it closes your pores and it leaves the moisturizer in your pores. It leaves the moisturizer in your pores to basically massage and keep your face clean, basically. So I'll be right back. Oh Lord. That's basically all you guys want to do. You want to take a wash towel and pat your face dry. You want to take a towel and just pat your face dry. I got it all in my nose. Every area. Pat it all dry. And if you got some left up under, just pat it and it will easily come off. And then after you pat your face dry, you kind of want to fan your face and let it dry because we're about to go in with another um, moisturizer. So that's what you want to do, you know. Pat it dry, keep it dry. <laughs> Things like that. My face looks so clear now. Like, I would do a before and after. And my face looks mighty clear. So, it's basically uh, all you want to do. Keep it dry. And the second moisturizer we're about to go in. If you have been paying attention, I did my very first video on this facial mist because I love it so much. It works so well. And I've been using this ever since they sent it to me in the mail. It's the... Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist. You can put this on before you put on makeup after you do um, my moisturizer like I just did. And you can put it on just to keep your face more fresh and awake and make you look more alive than I did, okay? So, you wanna spray this a few inches away from your face just cause you don't want your face super drenched. I like to shake mine up first. too silly for this for this routine man. I promise you but you just want to that's basically all you want to do and after you do that you just want to let your face kind of dry you fan your face like this and that's practically it thank y'all so much for watching this video be sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification so y'all won't miss out on no new videos and i'll see y'all later you can't hold no conversation because you're gonna keep the conversation dry don't nobody want to kiss you or take a picture with you because you're gonna make